public speak than the public speak than the public speak? After the board becomes common, we'll invite public comment. Yeah, um, I want to speak against the motion. Okay. Um, when you do something wrong, there must be remorse or it's going to happen again. This is not complicated. For those of you who support the motion, show me some remorse. Simple as that. How do we know this will not continue? How do we know this is not continuing? The other issue, again, and this is this is not complicated. This is not. We haven't seen any remorse, but we haven't seen any firings in these people from this bank that, that have made these illegal, racially targeted, predatory loans. They've been called out. Maybe they're still, maybe they got raises. I don't know. But we have to. This is a policy making board. I think we have to say very simply, this is wrong. And that's really what the motion is all about. This is wrong. Because, yes. If there is no remorse, it will happen again. Okay. We talked about the legislation aspect. Well, obviously the legislation is important. Has it cured everything? If, if legislation is the avenue, then I don't think anyone would be here. It would be done. So the short answer is yes, I'm sure it was well-meaning, but the legislative aspect has not worked. Right? And that's why we have to try something else. Right? San Francisco has a reputation as being on the forefront of policy. Uh, San Francisco is the uh, first city to recognize Cuba. Uh, San Francisco is the first to have an emperor. Uh, or North. San Francisco is at, at, at the forefront of policy changes. If this fails here, I don't see any hope whatsoever, frankly, in changing these kinds of things. I really don't see it in terms of changing. I think we have to send a message that simply this is wrong. How do you say this is wrong? I don't see any simpler way. I mean, I, I think it's important. And let me also add, again, fiduciaries, I, and as fiduciaries, we have the, the, the mandate to maximize the returns. If there's illegal activity, I don't think that is maximizing the returns. If you pay fines, clearly that is indicative of you're not maximizing the returns. So I think in terms of our fiduciary aspect, that that is an important issue that we must manage the assets uh, to maximize the returns. And I think people like ethical companies, don't you? I mean, I think we want to do that. And I, I, I think that's the key issue. And one last comment. Uh, as you know, I've been involved in the social policy forefront. I championed the cause uh, for the, uh, tobacco investment, uh, which incidentally was not unanimous. So, uh, it's a challenge. I mean, it really, really is a challenge. But I think we have to say this is wrong. The reason why I, I championed the cause for tobacco divestment was this. A lot of the members don't like to get their earnings from companies that are killing people. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and that was divestment. Okay, that's level three divestment. Okay. So I, I think that is a similar kind of thing that many of the members don't like to receive dividends and earnings and capital appreciation and other kinds of uh, returns associated with illegal activity. This is wrong. The board must take steps to change that policy. We must solicit remorse. And I see many people from Wells Fargo, uh, perhaps in other banks, maybe that are in the audience, tell me remorse. I'd be glad to hear a remorse on this. Tell me, give me the assurance that this will not happen again. Very simple. So.